This video will introduce our CNC simulator to you that will prove to be a great convenience in previewing CNC machining before any panels are sent to your CNC router for processing. Whether we have entered cabinets directly from our cabinet library, or by having placed them onto the floor plan designer, or by having entered doors without cabinets at the door and drawer order entry screen, we will go through the same process when generating our reports to include sending selected panels to our CNC router. Clicking the Reports button will allow us to choose what kind of report we want for which cabinets and for which rooms. For this exercise, we will select Cutlass Reports and then select our already customized report for selected case parts that we wish to send to our CNC router. After generating our cut list, we will exit these reports to proceed directly to panel optimization and the generation of our CNC code. Notice here on our panel optimization screen, we will see the layouts for all of our panels as well as labels for each part. The sides colored green are the sides being edge banded with the name of the edge banding displayed as well. Continuing on now to generate our CNC machining code, Cabinet Pro will allow us to sort the order in which parts will be machined, as well as the order in which parts will be cut out. Once we have this sort order defined, Cabinet Pro will remember our settings for next time we process a job. When we are satisfied with our sort order, we can generate our CNC code for the parts selected. After Cabinet Pro determines the machining for each part in our job and writes the code for that machining, we will be taken to this screen that shows each file that was written, the contents of the file we select, in this case we are viewing the G code that was written, details about the file we selected, including the parts that we processed in our selected file, and an actual simulation of the machining that will be performed. If we click anywhere on the drawing, then that drawing will become magnified. Selecting a 3D view, We'll show the tool paths in three dimensions, and using the other buttons on the screen, we'll manipulate the drawing just as they do elsewhere in Cabinet Pro. If we want to see the actual path of the spindle when it is in the air, we can turn this on very easily. Of course, that view gets a bit cluttered, so we might prefer to have it turned off. It is very important to note that this drawing is made for the actual G-code produced, so whatever is shown here is the way your machine can be expected to operate. Selecting a different file will, of course, give us a different drawing because the G-code within that file is different. And now, if we want to return to our previous screen layout, we simply click the drawing again. In fact, clicking the window of the screen that contains the G-code or file contents will enlarge that window. Clicking it again will return to the general layout screen. And clicking the file description window will enlarge that window in the same manner. Clicking it once again will, like before, return to the general layout screen. Cabinet Pro will remember whatever windows you have showing so that when you return to the screen, you will return to the same window format as you left. When you exit, Cabinet Pro will take you to a screen to help you transfer your CNC files to your CNC router. 